Okay, so for this portion of the JSM features series here, uh, we're going to be talking about Atlassian Assist. And essentially what Atlassian Assist allows you to do is integrate either Slack or Microsoft Teams with your Jira service management environment so that users can open up and interact with uh, service requests and you know issues that they open up directly within Slack uh, without having to go through the customer portal. And all of that information is synced between the two platforms. So what we're going to be running through today is going through uh, the ticket creation process, uh, you know, commenting on those tickets as we update our employee, and then closing it out and seeing how uh, the Atlassian Assist platform kind of helps merge the gap between Slack and uh, Jira service management. So without further ado, we're going to be on the agent view here. We're going to be demoing Slack today. Um, and we'll see a few different channels, uh, mainly the two most important being our Get IT Help channel, which is going to be a place for all of our users to, um, you know, post any service requests that they have, as well as an internal Slack channel, which is where we'll see some of those tickets being updated and, and things along those lines. So within the Get IT Help uh, ticket, we see, or channel, we see a concerned employee that has uh, a service request, essentially they need VPN access. So what we're going to do to initiate the request creation process within Jira Service Management is as an IT agent, I can go and click on the ticket emoji and react there. Uh, and we'll see something pop up here from Atlassian Assist saying, hey, for additional help, raise a request below. Uh, so we'll click raise a request uh, and we'll see a few different request types here. Essentially, this is all I have configured in this system. So we're going to click the request uh, VPN access and we'll give a quick description here. We'll show VPN access is needed and we'll click create and that's going to create our JSM ticket. And so if we go into this thread, we see that ticket ID has been created um, for our concerned employee uh, and things along those lines. So that's going to show up and all comments and all uh, information will be synced in this thread for the user, uh, as well as uh, in, our, in our IT support internal thread, as we'll see here. So another thing we can do is if we want to manage this almost as a queue, we can click uh, take it. Uh, and that'll essentially assign that directly to us from within Slack, it'll assign us as the assigned user within Jira Service Management. Uh, so let's say we added a comment to our concerned employee. Hey, we are on this now. And we click submit. We'll also see those comments sync in the get IT help channel. as well as uh, in the ticket itself. So now if we jump over to our uh, Jira service management instance, we can see that ticket that was created um, and we can see those comments syncing as well. And we can see also that that has been assigned to me now. So as this ticket kind of moves through its workflow, let's say we resolve this issue, um, give a resolution there and click resolve we can see uh, that now it's in resolve status here. And if we click over to our get IT help status, we also see that has been updated to resolved within the thread for the uh, IT help user. And so that's really a, a very quick summary of how uh, information kind of flows between Slack, Teams, uh, and Jira service management using Atlassian Assist. And I hope that was helpful.